Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So the last makeup video I did here on YouTube actually did pretty well. It was one of my better performing YouTube videos. So I wanted to film another one for you. I have the new Morphe 35A palette that is filled with fun colors. So I wanted to do this little pop of blue. And I also asked ChatGPT to generate some fun get to know you questions and I answered them along the way. If you guys want to keep on watching, then let's jump into it. So I'm going to use my, my tried and true Benefit Professional to Prime. Just a little pea-sized amount. I'm not sure what kind of look I want to do yet, but I do want to do something fun with this um, 35A palette. So many pretty colors. We might play in with the, these like blue greens because I have a blue eyeliner that I kind of want to use. Okay, cool. So I figured while we were getting ready, I would answer some fun questions. So I just primed my skin. Now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. This is the shade 35N, but it definitely is probably a little too dark for me right now, but we're gonna make it work. This is gonna be way too tan. So this is so messy and chaotic, but it's what we're gonna do. I'm going to buff it out with the Morphe M439. Buffing that out with a Morphe M439. Again, this foundation is probably a little too tan for my skin right now, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so I always first go in with my Morphe brush and then I go in with my Beauty Blender. The Tarte Shape Tape foundation can dry pretty quickly, so you do have to work fast. Let's answer some fun questions. First, so I asked um, ChatGPT for fun get to know you questions. So what is the most unusual food you've ever tried? Hmm. Going in Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna go a little heavy on concealer because the concealer is lighter, which will kind of help even out this too tan foundation. The most unusual food I've ever had. Um, I tried escargot on a cruise one time. That's snail. That was actually kind of good. Um, I did enjoy it. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I've ate. I'm not a picky eater at all. Like I'll eat anything and I typically like anything. Um, I've had octopus, but I liked it. Escargot and octopus, honestly, it could just taste like chicken. <laughs> Okay, just blending out that concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and Shape Tape Foundation go really well together. I could sit here, truthfully, and probably blend or like blend out my foundation for hours. <laughs> I could just sit here and do this. Okay, now to set my foundation and my under eye. I'm gonna set my under eye with the Laura Mercier powder, and then I'm going to go in, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the, I'm gonna use the NYX um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Primer, Primer, Powder, as well as the Mineral Finishing Powder. I'm gonna mix those two. What is my favorite way to unwind after a long day? Um, a cocktail. I love a good drink after a long day. I love a glass of wine. I love to listen to music, um, kind of unwind with a little drink drink. 
and some Taylor Swift for sure. I I really like I, I I'm on my computer all of the time. I really like to not work in the sense of like my day job, but like work on my little side businesses and my like little side hobbies on the computer. That kind of like helps my, um, like my, it's my creative outlet. So I really like to just play around like on Canva and social media and play around like with websites and stuff. Um, but I do, I think, if I have a glass of wine and someone has like a Bluetooth speaker on and I can like cook dinner, um, you know, I love to cook. It's such a long winded answer. And you're probably like, what are you even doing with your makeup? I'm just mixing. I'm all over the place. Okay. I'm mixing, like I said, these two powders just because I need a little bit of a better shade match. And then I'm honestly just like buffing this all over the skin. So, favorite way to unwind cocktail, a little bit of playing on the computer, make dinner, listen to music. That's how I like to unwind. I'm gonna do brows, but I need. I'm gonna do brows off camera because it takes me 18 years, but I'm using the NYX brow pencil in ash brown brows are done we are now going to bronze up the skin i'm going to use the benefit hula bronzer and i sometimes mix it with the wet and wild um this is the their contouring palette mine's broke because i'm janky and i don't even know if this has a shade dolce de leche so I'm gonna mix the Hula bronzer and this bronzer. What is one thing you would like to learn how to do? With how much we travel, I really want to learn another language. And I have, before we went to Italy, I was taking Italian lessons. And I mean, I definitely like was um, learning the language for sure. And when we were in Italy, I was able to communicate a lot at like restaurants and transportation situations. But you know, it takes years to become fluent. And um, you know, it's just it's hard to stick with it when you're not immersed in the culture every single day. So yeah, I, I hope that I can continue to learn languages. I'd love to learn Spanish because that would be much more useful as we travel. Um, but I'm gonna keep up with my Duolingo and hopefully just continue to be able to travel more and immerse myself in those different cultures to where um, learning it just becomes more natural as we spend more time there. I have this um, blush palette by e.l.f. And I love this palette. First of all, I love how it has four different colors that are all pretty um, different from one another. So you can switch up your look a lot with this one palette. I'm going to use, I'm gonna go with mix these top two shades. I don't think they have names. They don't, but I'm just gonna mix um, these top. I just do it on my cheeks. Sometimes I'll dab it on the tip of my nose as well. Just because I like to make sure everything is blended really well, I'll sometimes go back in with my bronzer brush and just blend those colors together. All right, so for eyes, I'm going to play around up top first with these neutral shades just to get a good base down and then I will try and do some sort of pop of color. I'm going to just take um, this white eyeshadow and pat this on my entire lid. I did set my eyes when I set my face but using this kind of brighter white color will help any of the eyeshadow colors we use really pop. What is your go-to karaoke song? Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so contrary to popular belief, I would not choose a Taylor Swift song because although she is my idol, 
Obviously, I'm a huge Swifty. Her vocal range is not my vocal range. Um, not that I even really know what my vocal range is, but it's just not hers. I think I have like a lower voice, so I love a good like Amy Winehouse, a good Adele, even some like Carrie Underwood. I'm not a good singer. I wish that I was. I've tried. It hasn't worked out. So when I do karaoke, I am tending to stick with crowd favorites. That way everyone is singing and there's less attention on me. Whatever a good crowd pleaser is, like a wedding song, you know, something that everybody knows. Um, and so that the focus is not so much on me. I have done like Shake It Off for karaoke and it was just by Taylor Swift and it was just atrocious. Never again. Sorry, I'm not explaining this very well, but I am just taking um, these neutral brown shades and buffing them into my crease. Let's see, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade at the bottom, kind of darken up my crease a little bit and then play with this midnight blue color. Should we do it on the cr or on the lid? Maybe. So I'm going to use this blue color on my lid. So I'm expecting to get a little bit of fallout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm going to put powder pretty heavily under my eye like that to where I know I'm still gonna wipe it off. But this excessive amount of powder under the eye will, whew, when we put the colorful eyeshadow on our lid and we get fallout, which is just inevitable, when we brush it away, this extra loose powder will help that be a really clean wipe. Okay, going in with this beautiful midnight blue color. Just keeping this right on my lid under my crease and just blending, going back in with the fluffy brush and blending on top in the crease. pretty you can't truthfully see it as much as I thought I am going to take a Morphe M432 brush and I'm gonna add that blue color to our lower lash line just to really emphasize the blueness and I'm wanting it to stick really close to my lash line so it doesn't look like I have a black eye <laughs> Now I'm going to take, again, that brown color that we put in our crease, and I'm going to blend that on the lower lashes too, just to kind of have that seamless transition. And I'm gonna take um, these two colors here and use those for the inner corner. All right, so I went ahead and put a lash on, and now we are going to finish and do a lip. I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in nude to line my lips. And 
And then I have two colors here. Um, I have Canes and Rome. Hmm. Let's do Rome because Rome is my favorite. <laughs> love how these feel on the lips all right guys oh wait hold on hold on hold on hold on i forgot i don't know what i'm thinking but i forgot highlight i'm going to use my jaclyn hill cosmetics highlighter this is the one i've been loving lately a little bit on the cheekbone and on the nose. All right, now our makeup look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy makeup videos like this, please be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.